Aerial footage shows the devastation on the main island. UN officials have revised down the death toll to 11. But they say it's hard to get information from some remote islands in the country. Many survivors in the capital, Port Vila, still don't have electricity. More than 3,000 people have lost their homes and are staying in shelters. They say they don't have enough food. And a big one. And it stays long. That's why it damages our, our properties. After eating, there's no more fruit. Hospitals are busy treating injured people. Doctors are asking for medical assistance from around the world. We are badly needing this, this help. We need to get an urgent drug supply and food and also set up a mobile hospital to accommodate the influx of patients coming in. Some people have already started rebuilding their communities. Workers are fixing roads. They're also repairing homes. More and more aid workers are arriving. A team sent by the Japanese government is in the capital to assess the damage and plan relief work. A team of doctors and nurses is on its way from Tokyo. What's important for us is to send help to where it's most needed. We'll discuss that with the Vanuatu government and international organization. Officials at UNICEF say tens of thousands of children in Vanuatu need special attention. The officials say they're the most vulnerable people when disaster strikes.